Mimi ndiyo servant pia ni Mackenzie. Hii ni mtu wa imani. Mtu wa imani na mtu wa wa, 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 wa sheria ni sawa na mtu yuko mwilini na mwingine yuko rohoni. Na hizo zote zinapigana kila siku. Religion has become a booming business in Africa. Rogue preachers have emerged and are taking advantage of their followers who are in desperate search of salvation. Such is the situation in Kilifi, Kenya, where a preacher identified as a Paul McKenzie recruited a dozens of worshippers into a cult and convinced them to starve to death so as to go to heaven and see Jesus. As of 24th April, the Kenyan government had exhumed close to a hundred bodies that had been buried on Paul McKenzie's land in Shakahola village in Kilifi County. The police are still continuing with the exhumation of more bodies and rescue of the remaining survivors of the cult. In what has now been termed the Kilifi massacre, Kenyans and Africans in general are gradually coming to the realization of how deep the cult is in the coastal region of Kenya. Paul McKenzie, together with 14 other people, have been arrested in connection with the massacre and are currently in police custody awaiting trial. Unfortunately, this was not the last time that the cult leader was arrested and released. <laughs> ni sawa na mtu yuko mwilini na mwingine yuko rohoni na hizo zote zinapigana kila siku the bitter reality is that if the Kenyan judicial system was firm and rigid, Mark Kenzie would have been charged and jailed a long time ago and hopefully the deaths of hundreds of innocent people seeking religious salvation would have been averted.